Okay, this is part three, and uh, let's get into um, a more editing features and what else we can do with Corel on the video side. Uh, so going back, this is actually my uh, video that uh, you know we quote unquote uploaded to YouTube. Not really, but uh, this is a video. But I'm not fully satisfied. I want to throw some pictures in there. I want to throw other things that might be uh, more fun. So I would select uh, a picture. Um, to kind of bring this uh, more to life. So I will put this image right here and I will drag it somewhere in between. So if I wanted that to be the next picture in my sequence, I would just throw that in there. So it would look something like this if I were to play the entire video. Okay, so as you can see, you can pretty much drop images, uh, video, I mean, you can just link it all together, texting, transitions, and uh, you can also do, um, you know, graphics as far as colors go. You can insert objects if you go into that feature there and create frames uh, as well. You can do frames if you want to do like a frame for your entire video to make it look like you're in a theater or anything of that sort. So you can really play uh, around with uh, some of these features. Uh, the filter uh, uh, setting or uh, option here is pretty cool, it's pretty neat, because it'll give you some really um, fun things that you can throw in your video. So for example, on the video right here where we have that little first smiley face coming up, I want to throw bubbles around it. And you would just grab that feature, uh, throw it in there, and let's see how that would look. Just that single clip. Let's see how that would look. I'm drawing a smiley face, and at the same time, little bubbles are coming up. If you don't like that option, you just select the undo right there, and uh, you know, no harm done. You can select something else. You can do something like a sketching. If you want to create like a sketching type of feature on on that, and uh, you throw that there. Let's play it and see how it will look instead of it being drawn out. Yeah, it didn't look too good. <laughs> I didn't do much for it. Um, but you kind of get where I'm going with this. I mean, you can do all sorts of things. Uh, you can do like a little star feature. Uh, you can make it a uh, duotone um, like this. Let's throw that in there really quick. And uh, for whatever reason, I guess, based on the coloration, it's just not working out. Let's do something a little simpler. <clears throat> um, yeah, let's do like a little lightning. Let's try that, all right? There, a little lightning in the middle of the drawing. <laughs> you can't see it because it's all white. That's funny. I'm selecting all the wrong ones. But you get the idea. Uh, the idea is that you can use these um, uh, FX uh, features right here, these filter features, and you can throw them in your video. If I want to give my video, maybe this one might be a better one to show. If I want to make my video look like a really old video, I overlaid that feature there, and now it looks like you know it's a really old uh, image. Um, so there's a lot of very cool things you can do with Corel um, as far as editing goes and you know only your imagination is limited to what you can do with it. Uh, this feature right here, the path, I've never really played with it. I don't want to touch it right now because I would hate to show you something that I'm not sure of. Um, you can also do an instant project. If you select that, it will turn your whole thing into an instant project. Um, music. So the auto music right here, you will go to that option if you have a version of Corel that will provide such a thing. It comes with a library, so here you can kind of play all sorts of different options of music and, and what to choose from. Uh, you can select them by style, which is what I usually do. You can get a preview. You play the selected music and you get a preview of how that sounds. If you want that same option to have, um, let me stop it. If you want that, uh, stop it. If you want that sa same option to have a different little variation to that same style of beat, you would do that and it's the same style of music it's just with a different kind of beat to it or setting to it and uh... you can also select if you don't like acid jazz you can select ballads and blues classical and this is all part of Corel this is all um... um what do you call it? royalty free music so you wouldn't have to worry about uh... getting in trouble with uh... youtube or copyright um, uh, infringements or whatnot. 
let me see what else can we do here you, you have a sound mixer where you know if you select music you can you know mix the sound up if you want to make something louder or lower um, you have once again that option of capturing screenshots and videos and voiceovers uh, the stop motion option I don't know if you saw that there you can also kind of create a slower motion videos uh, with that feature there um, what else can I tell you that's pretty basic to this? I think that's about it. I mean, there's really not much uh, to it um, as far as what I have been able to uh, accomplish with it. Uh, you can minimize, uh, if you're linking videos together together during the editing, uh, you can uh, determine when you want to cut those videos up. So, for example, this video is 2 seconds, uh, 2.29 seconds long, right? So if I press play, that's how long my video is going to be. But let's say somewhere down the middle, um, a minute in between, a second in between, I'm sorry, I want to cut that video there and I want to edit it. I don't like what's coming up next. I want to cut it right there. You can select to cut it at the clip or you can select to cut it as a project. If you do a project, everything in this line from transitions to video to pictures to everything will be cut in half. So if you don't want to do that, just select the clip. All right, and if I want to cut that clip and edit it, I can cut it right there with that little scissor um, uh, button. You cut it right there, and now you have two separate um, video um, uh, parts. All right, and then at that point, you can determine what you want to do with it. Do you want to now throw up an image in between? I can select this image, drag it uh, right there. So it'll look something like this if I were to do it as a project. If I cut it in half and put another image in between. Let's see how that looks. It's cut in half, remember? I put that image in between. Now the other portion of it, the transition, the video, the other image. So this is more or less how you would go about cutting and, and uh, pasting and doing whatever you want. Now you see that little double click here to add a title you can at any time in your video you can actually double click right there and if you want to add um, a comment or uh, a text you can write like oops and you can select uh, you can select um, the, uh, where do you want that inside that video if you want to do like a little caption live caption in there you can select the color of the I mean the style of the font uh, whatever font you want it to be uh, people also have asked me uh, where did I get those uh, uh, Corleone uh, Godfather options I actually downloaded you can download it for free from the internet Google just Google uh, Godfather uh, fonts and you can get that and see notice that I have here so if I wanted to make this like a Godfather type of um, text in there I can put Godfather alright and I can change the coloration the, te the, the font uh, once again like I said and uh, you can just literally just play around with this um, any which way you like. You can bold it, you can make it uh, unbold. Um, so it has uh, some really cool stuff that you can do with it. I hope you guys have been able to learn a little bit from this. This is the basics. I can get a lot deeper if you guys send me some messages and want to see a little bit more. But these are just the basics. And um, if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. Don't forget to like, uh, comment, share, and subscribe if you want to see more videos. Thank you guys for your time, and until next time.